for today's video, we're going to be shooting normal whitetail ammunition again. This time in 30 6 Springfield. I pulled a few bullets to reduce the load to simulate longer range. We'll shoot those into the first gel block. I'll flip them over and I'll shoot a full load um, in it. Was definitely still a little too slow and my jugs didn't catch the bullet. You can see it uh, started open, carried a little bit of permanent wound cavity carrying all the way through there. Definitely need to move it a little bit faster. That one was 1,580 feet per second. Still went through both gel blocks completely, but you do got a lot better permanent wound cavity there. Where you can see that bullet starts to open up at about the three quarter of an inch mark, carrying its better portion of that permanent wound cavity to the 14 and 5 eighths, where then it seems to pin line through. Uh, completely through both gel blocks for over sorry about that for just over 31 inches of penetration the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is two and a quarter and over here we're still running about two and a quarter before it tapers down about an inch and a half so that larger portion carrying good there of that over two inch permanent wound cavity it's from the inch and an eighth mark to just past the 10 inch mark so i'd say that would be a absolute minimum for these but would definitely be okay at 1733 feet per second We have that pretty well opening up instantaneously, carrying that larger portion of the permanent wound cavity just shy of the nine inch mark, carrying some permanent wound cavity 
just past the 12 inch mark and the leading edge of that bullet at 24 and 3 eighths. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is 4 and an eighth. Check it this way. And we are almost four and a quarter that way. So just over that four inch large permanent wound cavity. Overall, I'm really impressed at how well these bullets perform, both at high velocity impacts and how low they can go and still perform adequately to stop game. That one impacted around 2,806 feet per second. I will give a weight retention in the description of that bullet. Shoot some more low velocity ones here, see if I can catch one. But I'm not going to record that. I hope you guys enjoy the video.